Hello children, this is Grandma Carla with more of Skylark by Patricia McLaughlin. And we're on chapter 11. We are really getting close to the end of the book here. It took longer for Caleb to miss Papa. Caleb swam every day in the cold water. Aunt Lou wrapped him in blankets when he came out shivering, his teeth chattering. He went fishing with Aunt Lou and with Sarah's brother, William who was so happy when he first saw Sarah that he ran up the hill and whirled her around in his arms. It made me think of Papa and Sarah turning around and around in the prairie wind at night. William's wife, Meg, hugged Sarah too. It's been so long, she said, almost two years since we've seen you. Two years? I looked at Sarah and I wondered what she was thinking. She was thinking what I was thinking. Would it be two years before we saw Papa? William looks like you, Sarah, said Caleb. Plain and tall, I told you so, said Sarah, remember? Did you hear what I just heard, said Aunt Harriet, as we picnicked on the blanket in the grass by the sea? Seal is going to have kittens. The father is orange, called Caleb, making the ants laugh. Seal, exclaimed William. I remember that Seal was independent, independent like Sarah. William put his arm around Sarah. The sun came out from a cloud, but it wasn't hot like home. It was cool and green and beautiful, but it didn't make me happy. I thought about Papa at home by himself, building a barn in the hot sun. Where was your dune, Sarah, asked Caleb. Down there, said Sarah, pointing to an inlet. I went, remember when Papa made us a dune, said Caleb softly. He looked up at Sarah, a dune made of hay. Do you remember? Yes, said Sarah. I remember, Caleb. Sarah looked over at me as the ants talked and laughed. She reached out to touch my arm. It's all right, Anna, she said softly. It's all right, but it wasn't. The next week, letters came from Papa. Sarah, Caleb, William, and I rode out in the bay in William's soap rowboat, and Caleb read his letter. Dear Caleb, Moonbeam is getting bigger every day. I have started building the barn. Still no rain, but yesterday Seal had four kittens. Four, said William. Sarah smiled. Three are gray like Seal, Caleb read. One is orange. Nick and Lottie miss you. Every day they sit looking down the road waiting for you to come home. I love you. Give Sarah a kiss from me. Love, Papa. William rode to shore and we pulled the boat up. Papa misses us too, I said to Sarah. When he writes about Nick and Lottie waiting for us, I remember once you said, you once said that Papa's letters were full of things between the lines. Yes, said Sarah. I leaned over and kissed her. That's Papa's kiss, I said. William leaned over to kiss Sarah too. And that's mine, he said. Dear Anna, it is quiet here without you. I miss your voices and Sarah's songs. Sometimes, if I close my eyes, I think I can hear them. Love, Papa. The ants played music. Aunt Harriet played a flute that squeaked sometimes. Aunt Lou played the piano in bare feet, and Brutus watched her pedal. Aunt Maddie danced with a long scarf and a serious look that made Caleb laugh. Sarah took naps in the afternoon and slept late in the mornings. Chubb drove Sarah away and back again one afternoon. Aunt Lou said she had gone into the doctor. Are you sick, Sarah? I asked her that night. She smiled at me, a small smile at first, and then a big smile. No, Anna, I'm not sick. She was in bed her long hair down. Read me your papa's letter again, she said. 
When I did, she smiled more. Sarah? We looked up. Caleb stood in the door. He was in his pajamas, his hair all messed from sleep. Caleb, what's the matter? asked Sarah. A dream I had, he said softly. A dream about Papa. That's a good dream, said Sarah. She lifted the covers and Caleb got into bed with her. I dreamed that Papa looked and looked and couldn't find us, said Caleb. Oh, Caleb, said Sarah, putting her arms around him. Your Papa knows where we are. He does. Caleb picked up the family picture that Sarah kept on her bedstand. I used to dream about rain, remember, he said. Sarah nodded. Now I dream about Papa. There was silence in the room, and then Caleb looked at Sarah. Is this our new home, Sarah, he asked softly. Sarah didn't answer. She put her arms around him and looked at me over his head. She began to sing very softly. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. I thought of Joshua, the photographer who had told us about his grandfather leaving the prairie. Did he come back? Caleb had asked him. No, he never came back. And that night, I dreamed Caleb's dream. Papa looking for us. He could hear Sarah's song and our voices, and he searched the fields and the house and the barn. But we weren't there. That's the end of chapter 11. And this is Grandma Carla, and I love you.